You know, when I was in college, I was born and raised Catholic, and uh, I went away to college, and uh, I wasn't very active in my faith. Uh, but through some people I met, I was really drawn to some people on campus and uh, was amazed at the joy and the vitality that they had in their life. And I didn't know where that came from. And I started to ask them, like, you know, what's, what's different about you in my own way? And to a person, uh, they asked me, well, do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? And here I am, I'm born and raised Catholic, and I don't even think I really understood what the question was asking. You know, I suspect the right answer is yes, but what does that even really mean? Well, the truth is God wants us to live in intimate and unceasing union with him to have a deep and personal growing relationship of intimacy with Jesus, with the Father, and with the Holy Spirit. And that relationship unfolds like the close friendships and loving relationships that we have in our life. It unfolds by spending time together. God wants to be with us in every moment of our life, and Jesus invites us to be with him in every moment of his life. That's the wonder of the incarnation and our baptism. To relate to God and to learn to respond to God is a gift that uh, God wants to unfold in our lives, to really open up that deep, personal, daily relationship with him. I have this image of uh, a motorboat and a sailboat. And if you're a motorboat, you know, you can fill up the tank with gas and motor around and do whatever you're gonna do. And as soon as you're getting close to empty, you just pull back in and fill up the tank and off you go again. But in relationship with God, really, we're sailboats. For a sailboat to go anywhere, it needs to open up the sails and receive the wind. And depending on the strength and direction of that wind, that's gonna propel the sailboat through the waters. If you're a sailboat, you can't like run up the sail, hope to be filled up with wind, drop the sails, and hope to use that energy some other time. And God never intends for us to do anything apart for him. He is always pouring out his life and his love, and that's meant to be received in our hearts. And if we learn how to relate to God, to receive his love, his presence, and his power, that's where we really get the grace and the inspiration, the strength we need to do everything that God is asking us to do. Apart from him, we can do nothing, but in him, we can bear fruit and abundant fruit in our lives.